It's GA transfer deadline day across Galway and the rest of the country. Kevin Dwyer joins me as well. Lots of movers and shakers in the last couple of hours. Kevin, let's start with your own local club, Tune Stars. Big news, eight guys out for Ab the current season. Absolutely serious. I mean, really, Tune will be decimated if this goes ahead. They're going to lose the likes of Declan Byrne, Willie Falcon, Jerry Bodkin, Ian Dyle, John Dooley, God help us, what will Tune do without him? Tony Keating and Pete Warden and Alan Talty and Angus Tierney all wiped out of the Tum squad. This is a clear out, no question about it. The 80s Brigade are heading out of the club. Uh, Tum stars, though, with the obvious cash they're going to get for those players out, they're not exactly bringing in a whole pile, are they? Uh, they are not, no, indeed. I just see that one of those they're bringing in like, is a man that has served his club so well for many years and... If they're getting rid of the 80s, well, I don't know where they're going with bringing in Damien Burke from Corrafin. It seriously seems to me that they're going to save the money and try and build something extra up in the Tomb Star Stadium. Well, I'm after getting a text to my phone. I'm just checking on that. There is no doubt, Kevin, from a very well-known source that the Damien Burke move is certainly tied in to a bus contract. Now, we haven't got the full details just yet, but I figure this could be tied into the fact that Tomb Stars paid an enormous amount amount of money last year for bussing players around to matches that could solve it all in one foul swoop your thoughts oh my thoughts are this then what are Cora Finn going to do about their bus contract because they're about to lose Alan Burke he's transferring to Carla Strand and that means that the whole Cora Finn contingent could have to go back to travelling in cars or ass in carts it may be a case that Cora Finn are just sick of being in buses their whole lives going to county final coming up after the break a special interview with Chico Kelly